Yes, it is time. For the past few weeks, I've been mixing and mastering this track here in GarageBand for one of my viewers, Steve. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I can zip it all up and send it on back to Steve so he can release this song. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And if you're anything like me or like Steve, you love producing in GarageBand. So here is Steve's project. I've just finished the final mix, the final master, and now it is time to send this back to Steve so that he can do whatever he wants with it, which hopefully is going to be release it. In fact, I know he's going to release it because this song is too good to not be released. So what I'm going to show you in this one is how we can zip up this project file, put it over onto Dropbox so that Steve can download it, and then it is his to do with what he wishes. So let's jump in and show you that now. Now, if you've missed the previous videos, what we've done here is we've mixed this project. So here are all of our tracks. We've got drums, we've got bass, we've got uh, guitars, vocals, synths, everything in here. We've mixed all of those. And again, if you've missed those videos, check them out in the description below. We've then mastered this track, but we've done something a bit interesting and different here. We've mastered it by exporting the track and then bringing it back in here onto this separate track. We've then used some effects here. We've use basically a very simple mastering process by just using a peak limiter here to add a little bit of a boost to this track and then we've exported that. So what I have now is this project file that you can see here and I have the final WAV file that I exported as a final master in the last video and they're the two files that I'm going to zip up and send on back to Steve right now. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to go back to our main screen here because here are our files here. Now, Chasing the Rain, PJ Mix number five. This is our final mix that includes our master. And you can see these WAV files. They're grayed out around there. I've got uh, Chasing the Rain, PJ Mix five, six, and seven there. They're just different versions that I've actually put together. So what I did originally, if you missed my previous videos, what we did is we went into Audio Share here and we actually mastered it. Now, this is the final version. You can see the wave file there we did a few takes at this so here's our original mix it looked like this so it was normalized but it didn't have enough volume i then showed you how we can crush it into this and this didn't sound very good we then did another version here which was somewhere in between and our final master looks like this which is a nice balance yes we're pushing we're bumping up against that zero db we've got a lot of volume because it's a rock song but we've still got a little bit of dynamic range in there which is what we want with this final master so this is the version we want if we come back over over here to GarageBand. What we want to do is go into our files app now, grab these two files, zip them up, and then we can create a zip file that we can share on Dropbox. So let's jump over now. We're going to go into our files app over here. We're going to go to the downloads folder because that just happens to be where I'm keeping all of this. This is where it downloaded originally when it was sent to me by Steve and we can find these files. Now, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to create two zip files. What I could do is select both of these, but the thing is the GarageBand projects, I've had better success zipping those up by themselves and then zipping up the WAV file or I could even just upload the WAV file separately, but I'm going to zip it anyway because it's just cleaner and easier to do that way so what we want to do we want to find our chasing the rain pj mix version in fact i don't know why i'm not using my mouse here so i can show you we're going to tap on select here and then we're going to tap on this one chasing the rain final pj mix 5 this is my final mix here you can see i've just finished it here at 10 o'clock on, on a uh, wednesday night and then i'm going to tap on that one now what i could do here is i could just share this or i could do i could copy it i could move it but I actually want to compress it first. So down here in the bottom right, I'm going to tap on more and then I'm going to go compress. Now what this is going to do is it's going to create a zip file. It's going to compress this up into a zip archive. The beauty of this is that it zips up all of the files in the .bam project file and puts them into one zip file that we can then upload to Dropbox. And then Steve's going to be able to download this, drag it over onto his iPad or iPhone, and then be able to extract it and use it. And he'll be good to go. So there you go. That is done. You can see there we've got Chasing the Rain, Final PJ Mix 5, a zip file. It's slightly smaller too. So that's another plus that we 
we have there, and that is all good. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to find the WAV file that I want. So here it is. This is the final WAV file. Now, I'm actually going to give him, I'll give him two of these, because what I've done is this version 6 here is the version which is a little bit lower volume, and version 7 is probably the master file that I would use, but it's a little bit of a personal preference thing. So I'm going to give Steve both of these. So I'm going to select both of these files like I've done. I'm going to tap on more, and then I'm going to say compress. And once again, it's compressing those two files into one zip file. So we're good to go there. That's going to zip those up. Where does it put it? There it is, archive.zip. So yes, it's called it archive.zip. So if we, no, it hasn't, archive2.zip. It's still zipping it. Uh, so it's archiving those two files there. Because we've got two files, it doesn't know what to call it. It calls it archive2. Now we can rename that by simply tapping here on the archive2. So we'll do that now. We'll tap there. It will bring up our naming thing here. I'll grab my keyboard and rename this zip file. So what we're gonna call these is chasing the rain masters. There you go. So that's good. We can hit enter on our keyboard. And there you go. So we've got a couple of zip files here. We've got this one here, Chasing the Rain Masters, that we've done here. And if we scroll down, we've got this one, the Chasing the Rain PJ Mix, Final Mix PJ Mix version 5. So these are the files that we want. What we now need to do is upload these to Dropbox. So what I'm going to do is jump over into the Dropbox app and upload these to a folder. And then I can send this link to Steve. Now, the reason I'm showing you all this is that if you want to collaborate or if you want to share your GarageBand projects, or any files on your iPhone or iPad, you can use this exact same method. So let's jump over to Dropbox now and show you how. Okay, I'm over in the Dropbox app here on my iPad. Now, all you need to do is go to the App Store and download Dropbox. Now, you can do this from within files. You can actually just copy it across, but I use the genuine Dropbox app. It just seems to work better for me. Now, I've already got a folder here called Chasing the Rain, uh, which we'll go into here because I've already shared one of these master versions with Steve just to get his approval for this final master. But we can actually get rid of this. So we're just going to tick on here. We're going to tick that one, and we're going to go down and go Delete because we don't need that file there anymore. And I only have a certain limited space here on Dropbox, so I don't want to use up space that I don't need to. So that's going to delete from my Dropbox folder. That is gone. What I can now do is down the bottom here, I'm going to tap on Create, and then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to Create or Upload File. So we'll tap on that one here. We want to Upload File, this bottom option here, and it's going to bring us this option to Browse. We'll tap on the three dots there to Browse in here, and here we go. We jumped in here. We, we can be in our recent items here, which is where we are, and it's going to have all of these sort of things, but that's not going to actually help us. We need to find those zip files. So let's go back to Browse, and what we're going to do is in the top left here, we're going to tap on Locations, and we know these are in our Downloads folder. So there we go. We want to find these two zip files. So there's our Chasing the Rain Masters. So this is the first one that we want here. So we're going to tap on that one. It's going to add that file. We're going to add it to Chasing the Rain, this folder. We're going to tap on Upload, and there you go. It's uploading that file right there onto my Dropbox. While that's actually happening, it's got a little circle there that's actually doing that. We can also then tap Create here again. We can then upload again, Create or Upload File, Upload File, and then Browse, and then go back in here to our same place here and what we actually want is we want to find that chasing the rain pj mix zip which is this one here we're going to tap on that one and it's going to add that file to the chasing the rain folder we'll hit upload and there you go both of those are now uploading and you can see the little white circle there it's very faint here on the screen but you can see that those are both uploading now so what we're going to do is let these two upload and once they're there then i'll come back and I'll show you what we need to do from there. So what you can see here is that our first zip file has uploaded, it's turned to black from gray. So this one over here is now black. This one is still uploading. So we'll wait for this to finish and then we'll come back and show you the next step. And then we're all gonna chase that acid rain.
All right, so we are done. Both of these have now been uploaded. You can see the two files here. We've got the zip file there of our original WAV files, those two files that we zipped up, and then the project file there. So all that is left to do now is to actually share this so that we can send it on back to Steve. So to do that, you can see here it's got only you, which is only me right now. If I click or tap on the share button here, it's going to bring up the options to share. Now, what I can do is I can email or use a name or a group here. The easy way to do this though is to create a share link. So what I'm actually going to do is click on or tap on the create a link button, which I'm going to do now. And as you can see here, it says link copied and ready to share. Just to be sure, I'm going to tap on the copy link button here. Link copied is on my clipboard. So all I need to do now is go to Facebook Messenger, to an email, to any way that I can communicate now. And all I need to do is pop this link in here because you can see here now the sharing is set that anyone with a link can view, which means that if I send this link to Steve, he can view this. If I send it to anyone here, if I put this in the description, of this video I'm not going to not just yet um, but yes if I send this to anyone they can actually download these files so Steve is going to be able to jump into my Dropbox here and do this and you can use Google Drive OneDrive iCloud Drive a bunch of other platforms for this I just like Dropbox because as you saw it's simple to do there now you may be asking why don't you just use the files app and why don't you drag it over to Dropbox there well I can do that but the files app doesn't give you really good progress so you don't know when it's been uploaded and then it doesn't have that nice easy share option so I would have had to go back to Dropbox to work out how to share it anyway so the way I do it is that we do everything in files first we zip everything up here in our files app then we jump over to Dropbox then we actually get the share link and then we can use this from here so there you go we are done what we've done today is we've taken GarageBand projects and final master files from here we've then come over here to the files app we have zipped those suckers up and then we've come into Dropbox and we've uploaded them, not Audio Share, but Dropbox, and we've uploaded those. And we're now going to send these zip files to Steve so that he can release this song. And rest assured, once he releases it, I'll definitely be promoting it here on the channel. So thanks to Steve, thanks to you for watching these. There's two more videos linked down below. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon. And as always, I'll see you on the next video.